In this episode, we explore the abandoned George Air Force Base, located 8 miles northwest of Victorville, California. Originally known as Victorville Army Airfield, the base first began operation in 1941 to train pilots. After World War II, all flying operations were discontinued as a part of a nationwide demobilization. The base was then placed on standby status and was used to store military aircraft. When the Korean War began, the base was reopened and renamed George Air Force Base. Fighter pilots trained in many aircraft at George over four plus decades. In December 1992, the base was officially closed permanently and the site has been abandoned ever since. The site was a filming location for the movie Jarhead and was also used in an episode of the TV series Mythbusters as well as in an episode of Roadkill. Here is some old footage from High Desert News of the day the base permanently closed. This is High Desert Metro News. We all knew it was coming. Today's ceremony at George Air Force Base is the very last one. It was a somber occasion, filled with smiles and tears and memories. Ladies and gentlemen, the flag retired today will be kept on display at the Victor Valley Museum. Lieutenant General Thomas A. Baker presided over the final ceremony. What a magnificent setting for this ceremony. Although none of us were here 50 years ago when the decision was made to build George Air Force Base in this location. Only about 100 Air Force personnel remain, but after today, they too are just a memory. <laughs> And when it was all over, emotions were still running high. I'm leaving my home. Apple Valley's my home. Where are you going to? We're going to Altus, Oklahoma. Altus Air Force Base. Did you think, did you prepare for this day mentally? I thought I was. But no, I don't believe I was mentally prepared for it. I've lived here for 32 years. And, uh, well, it was just part of us, our community, and uh, but we just had a great old time, and I'm afraid you're going to miss it terribly. The closing of George is more than just the shutdown of an air base. It's the end of a military tradition in the high desert. These gates will be closed forever, but the memories and the friendships made here will last a lifetime. At George, for the last time, Abbott Dutton, High Desert Metro News. I hope that the uh, caretakers of the base allow people to come over and see the memorial because it tells the entire story of George from the beginning years to the supersonic area and uh, you know talks about the contributions we made in Desert Storm. This was a very important base with some very important aircraft and for it to completely disappear without people thinking about it, it would be wrong. Now let's take a look at our footage from when we explored here in 2022. That's the one in the video. Are you allowed to like, like go through the gate? Is somebody in that gate? No. No, right? Yeah, there's nobody in that gate. That's a bando gate. So this is a abandoned Air Force base. There it's is huge. hundreds of hundreds of homes in here. Bando, even a whole hospital. Your destination wow. is on the left. Look at this. Uh -huh. Whole streets. Yeah, look at this. Both sides everywhere. I mean, it's almost. We're gonna drive a lot of it because, in order to see all this, we'd be walking forever. Yeah. I don't know if you could see on, like, the map here, but it's this whole entire thing, like, the entire neighborhood. That's 
insane. All right, so leaving the car right there. I've tried to find the best looking houses with the least amount of graffiti, which was very difficult to do, obviously. This strip seemed to be the best looking. So let's uh, pop in one of these, take a look at how it looks. And you can pretty much assume it's probably gonna look all the same. They're all the same type of structures. All the same, exactly. All the same type of structures. All the same amount of decay and graffiti. So let's see how they would have looked. I mean, they mass produced them back then for the Air Force Base. Let's see. This shit is nasty. It's like we were talking, oop, I got glass in my shoe. Like we were talking out there about it. This is in the middle of nowhere. So people come all the way to the middle of nowhere <laughs> just, weird. just to graffiti and do these types of things. I'm getting these like like from, things like, in my shoes. Yeah, like highly urbanized areas and stuff like that. This part's by that logistics airport on the opposite side of the road. Yeah, every single one's abandoned. Huh. So some of them, they buffed a little bit of the graffiti. Not sure why, because it doesn't look like it's doing any, <laughs> any changes to the place. Overall, just all the same. Same thing over here. What the hell? Tarp and some clothes. Beer, chilling here. People just party. There's still wallpaper in this bathroom. And stuff stuck all in my yeah. shoes. You, I don't know what they are, but they they got like massive spikes on them. They must be. They're not like glass. I don't know what they are. You see them? They're like they're like all. You see all of them on my shoe? I don't really get. What are they? Right? They're like weird. Weird plants over here this is if it's got a light on this yeah construction trucks I can't read that sign it's just so much buildings naturally that looks like a fire yeah that definitely was a fire which is also another theme out here this lots of arson like we've been reading up on you know various abandoned places in the area and arson happens constantly it's probably due to homeless because they're probably trying to make fires for whatever reason or, you know at, at night believe it or not it gets cold down to like the 50s this time of year probably doing that to stay 
warm and then they're putting these buildings on fire. Look at the lines on the floor. They put so many. Yeah. It's, it's so It's like weird. they did the yellow line like 10,000 times. That is strange. I didn't even realize that at first. Like. Hey, Chief Dan Mejia with San Bernardino County Fire Department. Uh, we're out here on the airport at uh, SCLA and we had an abandoned building that uh, we got out here and we had fire showing when upon arrival and uh, we went, took a defensive approach and presently uh, the building's unoccupied and we're engaged in defensive operations. We've got seven units assigned, uh, approximately uh, probably 20 personnel and like I said we're in a defensive mode. Uh, this is an old uh, Air Force base and these are old uh, quarters for them that have long been abandoned and uh, dilapidated and so that's why they're abandoned structures have been occupied for quite a while. And there was another one a couple days ago. Uh, any relation? Uh, similar location, similar starts. Uh, both of them are presently under investigation. Okay, uh, has there been problems with uh, fire bugs out here or anything like that in Portland? Uh, no, just in the last couple days. Check. Dip in real quick. Okay. All right. Now we pulled over for the movie theater. Let's see. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Hopefully, we have a little bit better luck with this one. Take off my sunglasses. Let me turn on the light. It smells recent. I don't have any of my lights. Looks like there's theater seats. Well, the theater still exists. Come here with the light so we can see. So, at least something exists. It does really smell recent, this fire, yeah, wherever fire. this. It's more so towards the front. It is pretty big. I think it's it almost seems also like a play type theater yeah. too, not just a movie theater. There's definitely only it's one theater though. Yeah, the building. Fire in here is so strong. That must be like really recent. Yeah. Pretty big theater. 
kind of was expecting to walk in here and be an empty room. So, that's good at least. Pretty creepy in a way. Why put things on fire? I know they do it by, I guess, I, I guess by accident. I don't really know how, but it's like, why would you want to ruin the place you're trying to live in? And I, I, it ruins I your chances, you know? You can't really use that excuse with this one because the place, the active place next door seems like some sort of shelter. It does. They're all coming from there, so that, I, that excuse is off the books for now. Exactly. This is definitely where it caught fire, though, right here. I see them, but you can probably get us in there. They're on the second floor. <laughs> the orange shirt same. guy. I thought that they were like regular people. They're construction people. Or a dress like that looking for things to find. That's true. Just look at them. They're up on top. Yeah. It's, well, it's skirt out before they, uh... That's too funny. <laughs> Here's the car. Oh, I guess that confirms our theory that they're actively demolishing. I think they're demolishing them one by one. Organization. It just keeps going. Every corner. Every oh, turn. <laughs> it's insane. It can keep going on forever. I wonder if we can get our drone up in the air if it's Probably. in a restricted uh, airspace. There's only one way to find out. Yeah. That would give us a great view of how like incredibly massive this neighborhood is. It would take a long time to walk this thing. And it even goes back and forth into an area where we've got the training part. So let's see what that is. Those are more like apartment style buildings up ahead. Two stories. I haven't seen one person. No, right? One person. There is some sort of white building, but I don't know what that is. That little back there? Yeah. That was probably the active part yeah. that I'm thinking of. building looks a little different. I don't know why, but it has a different like structure. It's definitely, I guess not the same as the other. This place is confusing us because we just saw a communications truck going into one of these buildings as if it fucking works. Just weird, clearly it doesn't. All glass. <laughs> Maybe this is more of like a conference, like, yeah. like you know what I mean, like conferency. It's less graffiti in here. Yeah, maybe because it's on the edge. We drove to the edge trying to find a little bit better buildings. Just so decayed. Yeah. It's weird because, like, you have like, like if you look from the back, you know, let's go see. There's like active office buildings, and like the buildings right next to it are yeah. so trash, and they are just okay with it. Or 
pretty weird. I think we can view from this side. Or even like, yeah, like, oh, like a conference-y spot. They scrapped every little part they could in here. Now, yeah, we can get a view for here about what we're talking about. Watch out for the hole in the floor here. You can hear the hum of the building. Like, lock ready. Active building. Building right next to it. Destroyed. Like it just surrounds this area and they just don't care. The office room of some sort. Yeah. This one definitely is just not the house. Can we leave? I guess we can leave this way. I don't really know. I guess not. So that's it of our footage from exploring George Air Force Base back in 2022. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and like. And of course, we'll see you for the next explore.